morning, my beautiful internet friends, and welcome back. You may remember this video from a few days ago. That was a video that I spent a lot of time debating whether or not I should publish because I was really emotional in it and being vulnerable on camera is kind of terrifying, but I did publish it and you guys were so incredibly amazing and supportive. Uh, so many people in the Footless Show community also deal with chronic pain. Thank you so much for that response. On the flip side of crying in front of the camera, I wanted to share with you guys a very, very different kind of day, which is today. If you guys don't know, the two second version is I live with chronic pain, my neck is really I messed up. I get chronic migraines all the time. I generally feel not well and uh, my body never doesn't hurt, right? To some degree. And then there's my leg, which is having issues. Today, today I woke up at 6.30, which is when I was supposed to wake up. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because I didn't wake up with like a piercing migraine. I didn't go to bed last night in a ton of pain. I woke up and I was able to just like get up and start my day. And that is like so freaking cool. And honestly, it doesn't happen that often that I can like just get up and be like, oh, okay, let's go do this. Went downstairs, got some coffee, sat and watched a YouTube video to start the day. Maybe not the most productive way to start it, but like I kind of eased into the day and I still didn't really hurt. I was still doing okay. And by 7.30, I was working really hard. I have a friend out here from Canada, Alexis from Stump Kitchen. Please go check out her channel. I've linked it down below. She's amazing. And I wanted to get a lot of work done so that we could film early in you know, the afternoon. I usually work full eight hour days. Full eight hour days means I work eight hours with like two hours off to lay down or take time off for pain. And I started at 7.30 and I was able to just like work and focus and concentrate. And I got done absolutely everything I had to do and like checked all those tasks right off and my head was clear and like I wasn't shaky or nauseous or dizzy or like in a lot of pain. I just got stuff done. This might sound like the most boring story time you've ever heard in your entire life because all I'm saying is I had a normal day, but I had a normal day. Like I felt like a normal person today. A few minutes ago, I texted Brian because he's such a doll to listen to me all the time when I have really hard days. But I also want to share like the good ones. And I was like, babe, I feel like a person today, like a normal normal person, like I did what people do. Like I got up, I got work done and I was done by 2.30, which I was hoping to be done by three. And like I got done before that, which literally never happened. And I still feel good. I don't feel like I have to lay down in a dark room for like four hours to be able to exist the rest of the day or anything like that. Like I feel okay. My body isn't totally without pain, but it's so minimal that I don't notice it. My brain is clear and there are good days too. And the good days are so freaking awesome and so neat. It's so astounding to me and just such a gift to be like, I can just live normally today. And normal, I feel like is a controversial word, but I have this idea of what normal is in my head and today just felt like that where most days don't. And so on the flip side of being in tears and talking about how difficult it is to live in chronic pain, here's a day where that's not the case. Here's a day where the, the flip side is true. These days, they're memorable. They don't happen a whole lot, but it's amazing. It's amazing to feel this way. And I'm so grateful for it, especially on a day when my friend's here so we can like actually get stuff done, which is super cool. In the life of chronic pain, there are ups and there are downs and both exist. And you know what? I don't know what's gonna happen in the next two minutes or the next two hours, and this might flip and not be the case, but right now it's the case and I'm gonna be really freaking happy about that. So in the month of August, which we're only five days into as of filming this, a number of people have joined my Patreon, which I am so thankful for. Thank you guys. To Lauren, to VR, to Andrevel, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but I'm trying. Alyssa, Charmaine, and Kathy, thank you guys for joining in August. I am so grateful for your support. Thanks for being a part of my Patreon family. If you guys want a chance to be a part of my Patreon family as well, hop over to patreon.com slash joebeckwith to see what you might find there. Thank you all for listening. I love you. I'm thinking about you. I'm so grateful for every single one of you guys watching this. It is such a gift to get to talk to you guys. So thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky, all about it, down the river,